What's up, dude? So tomorrow the Fury Totem will come to GMS, and you may want to maximize your access to them so you can further your potential growth in the game. So for the people who don't know the Fury Totem, when you summon it, increases the spawn and the respawn speed of monsters in the map, both by 50%, just like the kind of skill Kishin Shokan will after tomorrow's patch. What we know right now is that you obtain the Totem as a 30-day coupon, either from the Maple Reward Shop or from the Cash Shop. You can get it from Fairy Bros, which will be implemented later, and you can get it from certain event stores. So when you have the totem, basically you double click it, because it and then becomes an equip. When you equip it, you get the Fury Totem skill, and if when you activate it, it summons a totem in your map for 150 seconds. The totem equip has a two hour duration, and you can reapply the skill to any map as many times as you want during that time. So if you want to go back to the reward shop, the item will be there and bought by reward points, and it will cost 2,000 reward points. But even though it's a really good item, it's still a large amount, so the reason I'm showing Maple M on stream right now is because that's one of the ways you can get very easy 500 reward points very quickly. What I'm showing right now is how you can get it very easily done. Basically, Maple Story Hem has this thing called auto hunting. And if you activate that, you can basically have the game gather the points for you while you're doing something else. I'm running the game here in Bluestacks on a PC. I'll provide a link to where you can download Bluestacks if you want to run it on your PC. You could also just run it on your phone on the side. I like to have not everything going on on 15 different devices. So this is how I do it. What you can see on the screen right now is how you can connect playing Maple M with your MapleStory account. This is one of the ways that you can get a lot of reward points. The second way you can get a lot of reward points is through Monster Collection. Uh, Dexless.com has a great guide for this, and I'll post a link to the guide in the description. And a third way that you can get a lot of reward points is by either killing daily or weekly bosses, by getting reward point vouchers from the Fairy Bros, and sometimes from surprise missions and other event rewards. And there's also like 50 points you can get from your guild buff, but that's more annoying than anything, but I guess I should mention that as well. Now, since we were talking about reward points with all this, remember that you should also manage your reward points properly and keep an eye on your duration of your reward points and the expiration date. Some people don't know this, but reward points do expire at the end of the month after the month in which you get the points. So, for example, when June turns into July, all the points you get in May will all disappear. And then only the points from June and July will be shown in your cash shop. I guess that's all for me right now. I'll provide the necessary links in the description, and I'll see you guys on stream. Peace!